Hello everybody, welcome back to another Fall Guys game analysis video. And uh hopefully you guys enjoy and learn some uh tips and tricks and uh Fall Guys and uh let's get into it. <laughs> Last not long. So we start off with the world gig. At first you want to look at the arrows on the spinning beams uh, so that you can plan accordingly to which direction they're spinning and what side you spawn on so that you know there's not much else that you can uh, see that's important from the first video so that's about it So while you're going down the slope, you're going to want to jump, because it will give you momentum. So, if you hit, if you get hit by the beam more towards the end, you're going to go ragdoll, and you don't want that. You're not going to make it very far either from that. And, uh, what's it? Yeah, if you, uh, get hit closer to the uh, start of the beam you're just not really gonna you're gonna go ragdoll and that's about it and you need to get hit by the center because then you don't get go ragdoll you get flung pretty far depending on where the beam is at the time I do get hit by the center but there's just so many people I get hit more towards at the end there so I kinda go ragdoll that is one of the main problems, you get hit by a lot of people. So while you're coming up to the edge here, if you jump while continuing to walk forward and dive, you'll be able to get on top of the ledge here. Uh, but sometimes you can't make it because of people climbing up the edge, which I do not recommend doing. And I'm surprised people still do it, but probably it's people that are not very good at the game. I'm not really thinking about it too much. So while you're coming up through here, you can look at the direction that the blade of the next fan is spinning, or how it's spinning, with the spinning to the left, so you can plan accordingly to that. So while you walk up, you're going to want to, since it's spinning to the left, you're going to want to go up the right side and vice versa, if it's uh, going towards the right. So while you're coming up to the fan, you're going to want to uh, dive. Uh, so that you go basically under the blade, although I do mess up. You do not want, you, you do not want to jump. That's kind of what I messed up on. And then you can dive onto the top of that, uh, on top of the spinning beam. And you'll get launched forward a little bit over it. So the next game is, I believe it was, yeah, air team, air time. <laughs> so uh, again, I'm going. I went over this in the first part. It was the first part, I think. No, it's the second part of uh, the series. And uh, again, there's different techniques that you can uh, do. First one is that you can jump over to on one of these drums to the edges which is pretty good if you, you can also jump down to the platform down there which I'm going to do but never jump or never grab that swing rod because I mean if you try to go to the center it's just not gonna <laughs> it's just not gonna work out very good for you so I never recommend going there So yeah, just jump down to the platform is what I do, and then stand on the side towards the circle. I do mess it up, and if you do fall, you probably want to jump so that you get a little bit of a speed boost, uh, since it's a sloped surface. So yeah, when it starts tipping, just jump to the beam, make sure to time it right though, because, well, I fell <laughs> because I didn't time it right. But yeah, once you start hearing it uh, tipping. I just need to be ready to jump. So then I get big sides once I sped up this because 
I mean, there's not much I can tell you. Again, uh, only thing I can tell you is to go to the first arrow, first patterned arrow on either side of the seesaw, and just kind of stand there. And sometimes uh, things will come flying at you, but not too often, but when they do, you just walk to the left or right to dodge them. There's not too much that you can, uh, not too much that I can uh, teach you on this one, but uh, basic thing that you can know. And it's over. <laughs> Finally, now we're going on to fruit suit. Uh. Also, have gone this one before. There's not too much I can tell you. Uh, first, again, always look for the big uses on the sides while uh, in the first video. And uh, when you are starting to, uh, what's it? When you're about to jump onto the conveyor, that's the word that I'm trying to find. You're gonna want to look for fruit. Also, you can jump on this sloped surface at the start to get a little bit of momentum. But yeah, look for a fruit while you're about to jump down. And uh, if you're going to use the piggies, look if it's at about this point, And then that's when you want to jump. Because by the time you are in the proper position, then it would have spun around. And you would already get uh, flung. And while uh, you're going, you can just jump. And uh, while you're going, or while I go past the pink triangle things, you can jump uh, at it a little bit, which will give you a little bit of a boost. But yeah, you can just jump a little bit while you're going up to cafe or get a little bit of a speed boost. But the final round is Fall Mountain. Which again, I mean I won mainly because it actually had a big ease. So. Now. I have a harder time winning without it, mainly because I know how to use it pretty well. So, that's why I recommend learning how to be, uh, use big ESs, because you can win pretty easily on Fall Mountain if there is one and you know how to use it. So every time I go, uh, every time I get Fall Mountain, I usually go on the right side. pretty good most of the time. If you see a ball like that, you just want to try to dodge it while continuing to go f uh, walk forward unless you cannot. It's definitely faster to just not get hit by the balls, so make sure not to. So, always, I always go past these, uh, the right side one or the left side hammer. And you always want to walk with the hammer instead of going against it because that can completely ruin your chances. Sometimes you might even get a little bit of a boost. So again, about at this point is when you want to jump in front of Yidus. I barely make it up there, but just enough. And then I managed to get the win. So, yeah, it's it for this uh, game analysis video. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed and learned something. If you didn't enjoy, make sure to like and comment. And maybe even subscribe if you want. See you next time.